Patreon content is dope, not gonna lie, help me on my gameplay. I I'm happy to hear that, Sobek, to be fair. I'm happy to hear that. Fuck spreadsheets from Hera. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn those spreadsheets. What's happening, finally, Bond? Turks versus Persians. Ooh, rough matchup. <laughs> douche, douche defense to Turo coming in. <laughs> Imagine he douches me and I just slap down the best douche defense tutorial. And then imagine I lose. That would be hilarious. Alrighty. What's up, Snibble? Definitely worth the money on Patreon. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, I, I feel like I have enough stuff on YouTube that, that's like completely free. You can just check it out and stuff. But for the Patreon members, for my biggest supporters, I, uh, I just save you guys a lot of time because I give you all the information and extra in one spot that helps you out. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying that. I'm happy I'm able to get you guys something for supporting as well because a lot of times like on Twitch, I don't really see the value of subscribing to a channel. Like you can obviously subscribe if you want to support someone. That's all well and cool. But I like to give something a little extra so it's a bit more meaningful to get a sub or, or to even get gifted, right? Um, and I like like, you know, competitive AO2 and, um, you know, just getting better in general. That's what I, I enjoy and I like teaching that, so... It's kind of like the perfect thing for me to provide the strategies and also do some guides and tutorials for you guys. Alright, to a house. That's... I've climbed 800 ELO since downloading Harris builds. True story. That's insane. Uh, how, how many months do Canada? That's insane. Stores on Patreon? Yeah, pa Patreon has all the tutorials and the strategy guide. There's different tiers though, so be careful like when you sign up. Just choose the one that's right for you. I'm bringing in this board a little too early, by the way. That's a bit bad on my end. So let's go ahead and change things up. We are Turks vs. Persians here, which is a tough matchup, so I'm going to have to get creative on how to win this one. Ah, uh, messy. Yeah. Gonna give those to my uh, opponent just to help him out. It's a little bit of fair play for me. Why not? What if he douches? Then he's got two extra sheep for it. How many times do we play Cavs today? This would be game number three. We're currently 1-1. One, 2-1 one. One wood indicates that he's not going to rush, by the way. He's going to go scout build for sure. No archers. That helps us a lot. I think we do not want to match him going scouts. That would be terrible. So we're going to have to open archers this game. Helping on Tryhard Thursdays? I know sportsmanship has a place every day of the week. Monk Rush with gold bonus? Uh, it's okay, but I, I have to set that up with something, right? If I just try to Monk Rush pure, it's not going to work. He's got this barracks early. Interesting. Love your recent balance change vid on YouTube. I'd love to see you design a new sip from the ground up. Oh, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. I like that. I got a comment on this video today. It was like... Gosh, does Hera never stop complaining? I was like, oh, good morning to you as well. Saw that at like 6 a.m. I was like, oh, sheesh. But it was a good video. I liked it as well. I enjoyed making it. Yo, Real Swifty, what's up? Time for some nasty scout micro. Should I make a Canada sieve? Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Oh, that sounds really cool. I might actually make a video designing my own sieve. If I can get my editors to make like the graphics for it, that could be nice. There's a website for it? Oh, awesome. I didn't know about that. 
That could be good. You'll start with the people who have a negative opinion of you and don't actually know how nice you are on stream and behind the scenes. They're lost. Roxy, that's such a wholesome comment. I appreciate that. W wife. Let's go. That's okay. The problem is, I don't fake my personality. That's the issue. In real life, there's ups and downs. There's good days and bad days. There's good feelings and bad feelings. And that's what I have on my my channel in, in general. Mostly good times, obviously. 90, 99% I would say. But if I just faked it a little bit, always put a smile on my face, never said anything controversial, no one would have a problem with me. But that's just not who I am. What can I say? I wasn't fit for this kind of world. Okay. No drush to and wood. I know, he surprised me. I think he might have done that on purpose. Uh, I should have known Persians get an extra 50 wood. That's okay though, we lost two bills, but we cleared it up rather fast, so it's not the end of the world. Say more controversial things, please, smiley face. I mean, I, it's not about the controversial things, it's just sometimes like, um, you're speaking about something in like a negative tone, you know? It's not like, oh, this is good. It's like, oh, this is, this, you know, this could be used work. This is not great. People react very aggressively to that most of the time. Uh, okay, let's go for... Hmm. Let's go for that side of things. Also, I'm not great with words, I'll admit. So, sometimes I could word things better. And I just choose to say blunt. Which I prefer. I'd rather people be blunt with me, and I'd be blunt with them. But with online, they can replay your video, see exactly what you said dissect it and then the meeting can just get like oh well okay he's walled okay that's fine and with stable we gotta run back so full wall with stable after drush killing me two bills he's definitely ahead then he's definitely ahead because he's investing very little and we'll get onto power units with like persian cavalry this is a bit tricky Hmm. I think we get that. That's really bad. Religion number three. Should have fought back. Oh, he was weak. I could have, I could have fought back. Killed one scout. I didn't know he was weak. Uh, village number three. If I win this game, it's a miracle. We're gonna, we're gonna try. If I win this game, it's gonna be a miracle. Nice, I'm glad he made one more scouts. Let's got the map. I think I'm gonna be so far delayed as well, like uh, to Castle Age, you know? I got Horse Caller. I think that was a mistake. Probably didn't need it. Maybe I have to use the market then. The camera's very low, we got four head point of view. Ah. That happened all stream? Damn it. Someone should have said four head point of view is terrible. Okay, that's better. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> Nobody said nothing. Like, you guys, you guys were looking at my forehead just for free like that? I was fine for the, I was fine with the forehead. <laughs> so nothing wrong with the forehead, me personally. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna do this here. Get that there. Move it back, please. Damn, I had like new viewers. I had new viewers come to me and ask me questions, <laughs> and I'm talking to them with the forehead out. Ay yeah yeah. God, it happens. <laughs> the chin and shoulders are behind the paywall. 
<laughs> oh god. If you guys want to see below, below the neckline, you're going to have to subscribe. Alright, let's do one more farm. Maybe one more as well. We're going to try to use the market to get a, a decently competitive time here. Basically, Turks have a gold bonus. So getting onto market and using... Uh, that is a pretty good idea. I think I'm also going to sell my stone as well. I'm not outbooming Persians. And I kind of have to do damage to some downvilles, so... Uh, we're going to take some risk here, and we're going to just sell my stone. Like I said, it's truly a miracle if I win this game, so I'm completely okay losing it. But instead of resigning now and guaranteeing that it's a loss, let's just go all in. Number one, it's fun. Number one. And number two, it's like there's a small chance I can win, so I might as well take it. Um, which feels Which feels right to me. It's worth trying, getting some fight, some fighting spirits. My Mr. Yo? No, my fighting spirits is not nearly as good as Mr. Yo. Resigning early is lame, never surrender? That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Also, it's good. Like, I think if you resign, I think it's good for tournaments as well. Because when I'm playing tournaments, I don't want my fans to see me, like, die easily, like a dog. Like, just, like, one vil kill and I'm out. Like, nah, I want to show some resilience for you guys, you know? Just, just a little bit, at least. Wow, I sold my Sony's up faster. This is a disaster. Yeah. I mean, I lost three vils and I'm out sieved, so it makes a lot of sense that I'm down this bad. Hmm... I still, I still think I have a chance to win. If he just drops TCs and like plays a chill. He's he's got armor forging. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go crossbow stone walls. Whoa. We're gonna go crossbow, double stable camel, and we're gonna land on. And yeah, we're gonna land with the siege push as well. Okay, let's try that. Kaz was not playing AB4 at the moment, so this is how good he can be in AB2, and I think he's playing really well at the moment. Double Siege? No, not, not this game. This game I need the, the Cavalry, since I'm not faster up. And I don't exactly want to chase that around as well, so I kind of have to just... Well, he traded for bills, but he lost a lot of his army. This is good for me. Well, it's good and bad. They let me get the push, but... I'm now even further behind economically. the monk. I thought I had it for sure there. Time 
late but congrats on the night win. Any new gossip about a possible Red Bull Wololo coming? They're teasing. I don't get I don't get the the juice to spill though. Oh, good hit from him. I traded it back decently. Amazing fights for me. I say juice to spill. I meant tea. That's, that's how you say it. Spill the tea. Where can I find the PDF, my sweetheart? Uh, Discord. Root cakes. Is my score so high? Scouting and I killed a lot of military units, but I'm not actually winning that hard. Uh, if at all, like I'm not even sure if I'm winning. Probably not. But I have an idea. I would just maintain map control and try to go for forward castle. How is this really bad? Don't like that. Maybe I get one mega now. Oh, Scorpion is not needed. Actually, I remember a game I played against MBL. What I'm doing is a winning strat. He, he beat me with this well. Forward cast into fast limp, it should go heavy camo. Uh, Janissary, it's really hard to stop. <laughs> I'll do just that then. I played that game like two years ago. I'm surprised I remember it. Can't do this under this pathing. Literally, you can't do this. Gotta go back. It's way too advanced for what the game can handle right now. And I don't think it matters that Genesis were nerfed since that will not work. Oh, maybe this will though. Good enough for me. Actually, that was pretty good for him, though. Wait, did I lose this? Ah, it's good enough. It's good enough. Be fine.
Yeah, it's more than enough. We'll take maybe poor TC here. After this, we fast them. Excellent. Yeah, this is amazing strats. He'll have a really hard time against this. Four relics. Let's take number five. That's amazing for us. Turks with relic late game is amazing. Very strong. Almost broken, actually. Your units are so strong. <clears throat> and I have a decent economy. It's not like I'm struggling in terms of eco. Now if I just go Jans, maybe a Manganel or two. It's not clear how he stops this push, even. Probably counterattack is the best choice. So let's get some walls down. Uh, yeah, let's get some walls down here. Uh, in theory, there should be stone walls, by the way. Here, I can do palisade walls. Actually, no, let's do stone walls out here. Much better gameplay. Stalker, what's up? Thanks for up. What is this? Too difficult. I have chemistry right away as well. So plus one on my castle. Yeah, that's GG. I think he's done. Really? More? Ah, there we go. I have to retype it, that's the best part. Uh, that's a big loss for him. A crazy game. Uh, I'm surprised he did the comeback. That was um, I mean, a really big attempt from him. Like I don't know what else he could have done, though. That was insane. I'm telling you, I, I actually remembered a um, a game I lost. I was I was I think I was Persians actually. Let me let me see if, if I can find it on YouTube. I don't know if I even uploaded it there. Well, let me see if I can find it on YouTube. Hera versus MBL Persians versus Turks. Nah, I can't find it, but I, I swear it, it was Persians versus Turks. And MBL beat me with this exact approach. He got Camel Janissary and I couldn't stop it. I actually raided and tried something like that, but that's why I did the Stonewall. Uh, but aside raiding, you cannot fight because <clears throat> the units are simply too powerful. And Persians, they need a big economy. Turks do not. I have five relics and a forward position. That's all I need. It doesn't matter. He's, he's going to be like, what, 120 bills? Yeah, 117. And it doesn't even matter because the extra 40 bills he has doesn't do much. I've been I've been in this situation so many times, by the way. The guy getting pushed. You have so many more bills, but it feels like it doesn't even matter. Because it hasn't paid off yet. Um, and, and this is the strength of Turks, really. You get a forward position. Bombard cans come out right away. Free chemistry is plus one, plus one attack on the castle right away. So rushing it is like extremely difficult, right? I have Bodkin Arrow plus Chemistry. Castle's hitting hard. 